Hi, Bob Harvey, the DIY guy here with you again. Um, since I got the X-Max, uh, I decided, you know what? I really enjoy doing fresh bodies for them. Um, so I went out and I got a Proline Raptor body for it. So basically, here, let me set this down. It's a pretty good looking body it's kind of hard to see but it comes pre-cut which is cool that means you don't have to mess with it and with these polycarbonate bodies um, they come with a protective cover so when you finish painting you just peel the protective cover and off and it's like they have a brand spanking new fresh coat of paint that makes it super nice uh, I'll show you also what comes with it let me get rid of it and I bought the Raptor because I just happened to have an F-150 not the Raptor but still an F-150 alright comes with some pretty cool stickers with it gives you all the good stuff gives you some side stickers for the this and on the back it's got a big Ford emblem and all the headlights and the grill and all the good stuff and with the X Max it's got that that body mounting system on the back and on the front and then there's a cage the cage goes through the back so everything's pre-cut you don't have to cut anything um, everything's pre-sunk and pre-drilled but I have all the stuff to cut the holes if need be but the first step is to uh, they come with a mold release agent on the inside that doesn't allow the paint to stick very well. So what I like to do is take is take some 3M Scotch Bright pad with some uh, with some um, Dawn dishwashing soap and just kind of scuff things up lightly. But you do not do the windows because you want the windows to be clear unless you're going to paint them black. Uh, but everything else gets gets Scotch brighted and cleaned up. Uh, I just do it in the sink with some dishwashing detergent and it works really well um, so let me go do that and then I'll be back to show you the rest I just use a small piece of scotch bright so that it's not too over wieldy and I can fold it and use a nice sharp factory edge cut to do around the windows to make sure that I don't accidentally scratch the windows up because if you leave them clear you'll see them all the way through so anyway okay so, there's a lot of different methods to painting these. However, every one of them is internally because obviously with an RC car body, the outside is just going to get hammered. Um, so, they give you the window cutout things to put on so you can have your windows clear or you can leave them painted black if you want or you can mirror coat them to make them look like, you know, windows or whatever. But I like to use frog tape when I do mine because it gives you a really, really nice clean edge. Once you get your stripe laid down that you want, you just lick your finger and wipe it along the tape and it, it bonds to make a nice clean line. However, you want to be careful like if you're doing your design to avoid going over corners like this because it's really hard to get to get the tape to stick down good to not mess up with get you know getting runs and you get a crease in the tape or whatever uh, I like to outline my windows and I've probably done I would guess 30 35 bodies in my life uh, I actually enjoy it I, I I like being able to tape everything up and and the finished product when you peel off the protective coating it's one of those those uh, oddly satisfying moments that you get but I'll show you that later but like I said frog tape works the best I've used it a lot a lot of people use like uh, Bob Dively's liquid mask or uh, there's another brand I can't remember the name of it right off uh, Biddy Design or something I can't remember the name of it but and it works really well because what you do is you put a couple layers 
You can use your air your air gun to apply it, your airbrush, I should say. You can use air to apply it, or you can just use a paintbrush and do a couple thick coats, and then you just go on the outside with a sharpie. You mark up what your design you want, where the color is going to be that you're going to do, and then you just go underneath, cut out, you know, your first design. Start with the dark colors first. Do your 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 design to whatever you want. Cut it out with an exacto knife real smooth and then just peel the the liquid mask off paint it and then go in and cut your next design a lot of people do that and it works really well but it's pretty pretty expensive and i like the nice clean straight edges you get off of tape i'm not very good cutting a straight line with my exacto knife so uh, anyway i'll give you a, a actually you know what i'll go ahead and put the the white window block outs in and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like with it afterwards. Got all the window masks on. They can be kind of tedious getting them located where they're supposed to go but uh, they look pretty good. I did this with a piece of duct tape on top so that you can hold on to it because these things are pretty slick and smooth and they're kind of a pain in the ass to hold on to when you're trying to set it in your lap and put these stupid little decals in or when you're taping doing all your tape and your design and stuff, it can be a pain in the butt. So uh, anyway, you can see the the little uh, scratch marks from the Scotch Bright pad. And that helps the paint adhere better to it, except for the windows. And you don't have to worry about if you get little bubbles on the inside of your window masks. That's not gonna affect anything because you just peel them off anyway. So anyway, um, Okay, I gotta try to figure out what kind of a design I'm gonna do, so I'll, uh, yeah, I don't know. On the back of the old uh, plate, and then cut it out. And this is what it's gonna look like on the front. I'm gonna maybe do, maybe one more, something on the back side, or some big ones or something. Or I might do a raptor claw or something, you know, back here. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, because there's a bunch of stickers to go on it, but I wanna just do something a little different. And I'm going to do three different colors, um, but I'll show you that in the end. I don't want to spoil it. Here's a quick update. This is a very tedious, tedious task. So I've got most of the two colors outlined. I did some designs on the front. I have underlaid designs with the claw marks here, which I'll paint the one color, peel this tape, paint that color, and then turn around and peel these on here and paint that color so it's pretty <laughs> pretty time consuming process now i just got to finish taping off the back back here and then i'll do some small design in here i'm sure okay so i'm all done taping it off uh the one thing that i do afterwards since you get your grubby hands all over it all the time is i use a little bit of windex and then i wipe the whole inside out you know, but you gotta be careful when you do the front parts to go with the stuff so you don't peel everything back. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray the first coat here and see what it looks like. You gotta do a thin, thin, thin coat. And then you wanna go through before you do it and push down all the little corner pieces just to make sure you don't get any bleed through. Uh, and I'll show you what that's like when it's finished. Okay, well, I had to do a different change of plans. I wasn't going to originally do this color chrome. This was supposed to be candy purple, candy red, and then this scratches were going to be chrome, but my candy purple wouldn't work. And I did not know, so this is for anybody else doing this, when you do chrome, do not sand there. It looks like brushed aluminum because you can see the scratches in the chrome, so... I'm not really happy about that. I mean, the, the scratches turned out good um, for the most part. That turned out pretty good. But now I'll show you what I mean by when you pull the protective cover off, what it looks like. Let me, uh, let me get started here. I gotta get a corner of it that's already off. Everything looks dull. See how it, everything looks dull right now? Once you pop this thing off, 
Let me start from the front over here. Yeah, the chrome really pops and makes it look nice. Super, super shiny. Once you get it off, man, what a pain in the butt. Usually it comes off easier than this. Yeah, and then I didn't know that. Uh, when I painted the candy red, it didn't, uh, I should have backed it with chrome, or not chrome, silver instead of white. <clears throat> so it didn't turn out near like what I was hoping it would. It looks okay, but too many, too many white spots. <clears throat> the chrome looks pretty brush the room <laughs> in. I still wish I could have got candy purple, darn it. Oh well. And once I I got a couple little spots on it here and there that that don't look the best, but I can cover a lot of it with with stickers and different things like right here it kind of bled through. I didn't and I bumped it when I was taking the tape off and got a little too fast, but that's okay. But I mean, it looks pretty good. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, put the stickers on it and then I'll give you one final update. Okay, well, here's the final update. Got the, got the body all finished. Let me get the scissors out of the way. Didn't turn out too bad. A couple little things here and there that I'm not a big fan of, but Looks pretty good. Got a couple stickers on it. Got the headlights and the grill and everything in it. Got the tail lights and all that stuff put on it. Doesn't look too bad. It's actually the chrome turned out kind of cool. I like to brush the brush aluminum look. But anyway, so yeah, that's how you do it. Um, there's lots of other. I still have to put the internal cage and stuff in it and do all that, but. There's lots of different ways to do an RC car, so uh, if you search the internet, you'll find all kinds of ways to be able to do it. So anyway, thanks for watching, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.